Hello, good evening. As you may have just seen on the national news, Litchfield Cathedral was packed tonight for a service to pay tribute to the charity fundraiser Stephen Sutton, who died of cancer. As the amount of money Stephen raised topped the £4 million mark, friends, family and well-wishers were asked to give Stephen's trademark thumbs up as they left the service. Keith Wilkinson reports. Yellow ribbons were the theme. Even the police escort had one as the cortege left Stephen Sutton's hometown of Burntwood. <laughs> Stephen has become a national hero. He died of cancer, but managed to raise four million pounds for charity. His spirit in facing the illness, and yet living the short time he had left to the full, has proved an inspiration. At Litchfield Cathedral this evening, his mother and family were among the many hundreds of people who took part in a special service ahead of his funeral tomorrow. Stephen's body will remain here overnight. Stephen's been a remarkable icon. He's achieved a huge amount in the last three years and I'm, I'm very, very honoured to be associated with this vigil and uh, we're privileged to be able to host it. Uh, but he's lived his life with an extraordinary verve, um, with a great sense of can-do, huge courage in the face of adversity, and uh, a wish list of achievement that's been the most remarkable thing I think I've ever heard. He's such a brave lad. Courage is incredible. Inspiration to me, to everybody. And uh, I'm a grown man, but God to you. Wonderful. Stephen wanted there to be fun at the funeral and his mother has called for people to give a thumbs up in Stephen's own style. Tomorrow morning, she wants a moment of celebration rather than a minute's silence. There was a lot of sadness here tonight, but quite a few smiles. Keith Wilkinson, ITV News. Police are warning the public not to approach a high-risk prisoner who's gone missing after being released from HMP Stocken in Leicestershire on licence. 46-year-old Edward Sterling has previous convictions for false imprisonment, assaults and possession of a firearm and was released on Wednesday morning. He didn't turn up at an address in Gloucester. He speaks with a Northern Irish accent and has a tiger tattoo on his left arm. An experienced motor enthusiast died when his vintage car came into contact with another vehicle during practice for a race, an inquest was told today. Stephen Jewell, who was from Tewkesbury, suffered multiple injuries at Snetterton in Norfolk in September last year. The hearing was told the 63-year-old was driving at around 80 miles an hour when his Bugatti came into contact with another vehicle and crashed. The coroner recorded a narrative verdict that Mr Jewell died as a result of a collision on a racetrack. The family of an 11-year-old girl who has cerebral palsy says they're now taking matters into their own hands after she was turned down by the NHS for an operation which could help her to walk. Sophie Sharman was diagnosed with the condition when she was a baby. Her parents need to raise around £12,000 to fund the operation themselves. Nancy Cole reports. Like most 11-year-old girls, Sophie Sharman loves to dance but it's something she can't do on her own. She was just eight weeks old when she was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. The type she has restricts the movement in her arms and legs, making them stiff and extremely painful. She can't sit unaided, she can't walk unaided. We have to take care of her 24 hours, seven days a week. When she's in pain, it's a bit of a killer for us, isn't it? Last year, the family from Bedworth were told about a new operation which could dramatically improve Sophie's mobility. But a few months ago, NHS funding for the surgery was cut, so they now have to find up to £12,000 to fund it themselves. It's been hailed like the miracle operation. Children with cerebral palsy are getting up and learning to walk. Uh, my friend's little boy had it done, uh, he was an on-walker and he, he's walking now a year after. So we're hoping that Sophie will gain independence for herself, be able to do things. If she, if she doesn't learn to walk, 
then she'll be able to crawl around and get things that she wants and be a more independent little girl, more happy, and it'll loosen all the muscles up so she won't be in so much pain. In a statement, Nottingham University Hospitals Trust, which has been dealing with Sophie's case, said changes to funding arrangements mean this treatment is no longer available on the NHS. But we continue to meet with the family as they explore self-funding Sophie's surgery. Sophie's parents say they'll do all they can to make it happen. We've just been fight, fight, fight and concentrating on that instead of thinking on the negatives. And we're just trying to think on the positive and hoping and praying that, you know, we can get this money for her to get this operation done. They've already launched an appeal on social media and next month they're holding a charity auction to raise vital funds. Nancy Cole, ITV News, Bedworth in Warwickshire. Finally, two weeks before the start of the World Cup, David Cameron was in Staffordshire today spending time with the England squad. The Prime Minister talked tactics with Roy Hodgson and some of the uh, squad at St George's Park before meeting young players who are hoping to be the next Steven Gerrard. Well, they did raise a smile from the Prime Minister, though, when so many of them said they supported his favourite team, Aston Villa. Uh, time now for a look uh, at the weather forecast. With all the details, here's Simon Parkin. What's in store for today? ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Good evening, and if you look very closely over the next couple of days, you'll spot that the weather is improving. For tonight, we are dry, but with a fair amount of cloud. But on the plus side, at least it's not cold. 10 or 11, the overnight low. And yes, tomorrow morning, we'll start a little on the grey side. But even through the morning, we'll see a few chinks of brightness develop with perhaps an odd sunny spell into the afternoon. And even where it stays overcast, at least, we'll be dry with temperatures up to around 15 degrees, though in the best of any brightness, 17, maybe 18 knots out of the question and then another fine day on Saturday just a slim chance of an odd shower ITV local weather sponsored by Centre Parks that is all we have time for this evening plenty more on that Stephen Sutton vigil by the way and uh, loads more besides on the website itv.com slash central is the address we are back tomorrow until then have a good night goodbye <laughs>